Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign. Let's jump into Operation Tomb King, which is finding the headquarter of Cult of Jiraiya. Keep in mind, this is one of two factions that is still alive, Cult of Jiraiya and the Marauders. I don't think that we can really eliminate the Dark Elders. They seem to be sort of out of the... A whole tournament anyway so these two are the last ones that we need to uh, that we need to push out and I really hope that we're going to find another uh, alien base soon because I know for a fact that there is still one ruler the Mac ruler that is left over so that definitely needs to happen as well other than that we are leveling our remaining group. Uh, Bastard, Timbit, Haxer, Aviator, Hayward, Shinrod are on the case. And you can see a couple of majors here, captains, lieutenant, uh, lieutenant, sergeant. And we have a lot of uh, sergeants on the actual uh, map as well. So it's going to be one of those like very crowded missions where we're going in with uh, 10 uh, soldiers. Way too many. All right, let's go. Good, we landed and the one thing that I hate about these missions is way too many soldiers from our side. I mentioned it a couple of times, but I really can't see myself enjoying like 10-ish soldiers in a single mission. The main problem that I always see with that is XCOM itself just doesn't really lend itself well to larger scale combat. The idea that you can overwhelm a group of highly trained soldiers with just more enemies is, from a, from a pure content perspective, simply speaking, wrong. It, it never works and it never had worked and in my perspective it will also never work. Simply. Because the mass of enemies is never going to be uh, threatening enough. I'm going. Where are you Good, we're going to run into the exact same scenario as we've so often. Let's start with a few face-offs. <laughs> so much damage, so many hits. Good. We're doing the exact same here. Yep, the Cold of Jiraiya. There's the good old reanimation that we we were looking for. And Hayward uh, begins to like place a turret over there. Oh, 
More fanatics. And even more fanatics. Good. Hexor moves up. Catch. I can see them flanking. Okay. We are moving up. Hey, No, no, no. No, yes. Kill. Good, there is a mess in Necromancer. Fortunately, that guy does have sustenance, so the size zom uh, zombies will not immediately die. Not yet. I can handle that. Moving up. Overwatch. Or it will just overwatch. Could move all the way down to here and then take a shot. Move to here. The problem is the Psy Zombie could still hit us uh, there. Bessert moves up. Putting a couple of extra potential targets down with that turret. Oh, come on. This guy had a 90% shot miss and a 92% shot miss. He seems to be quite a nimble fellow. But that won't help him against grenades. Good, two for one, and we got the kill. Timbit moves up, overwatches, Shinrod. Threat assessment onto Hexor, and we're overwatching from the back line. Ah, too bad, that could have been a kill. Nice hit. He just moves forward and gets momentum without even hitting something. Okay. That's just weird, but uh, never mind. Well protected. I cannot stop the oh, that was not very clever. It's just a few dings. We should do something about that armor. When off the armor, 
Another group of fanatics. I'm trusting you here. Seems doable. And they killed the heavy turret. Thank you, body armor. That arm is top. Apparently they are ignoring one of the turrets and also apparently they are unbothered by tactical analysis. It sucks that the mortar did make them immune to it. it Seems to be the only faction that just doesn't care about it. I don't know what it is, but they seem to completely ignore that other turret. Okay, well, let's give it a go. We're starting with a devoted fanatic. heal here I think we need to deal with the zombies unfortunately there seems to be no way around it interesting uh, they can even reanimate one another. Let's use uh, the people that can't really see that many enemies. Moving up, Hexer. No. Yes. Let's kill that guy. And we got a free action on top of it. Not bad. Interesting. Well, oh, I can handle that. Axe moves up. Axe to Z exhibit. No, I think that was a different guy. And we we'll remove the cover. Very nice. Master Necromancer, more like Master on the ground player. Too bad, that should have been a hit. We got face off. Already did that.
Hmm. We have death from buff, right? Yeah, we do have death from buff. This would trigger an explosion. Apparently not. Hayward moves up. Okay, cool. Keeping us topped off. Killing that master necromancer should kill all of the other zombies. Well, apparently not. Maybe there is still another master necromancer somewhere. Must be one somewhere else, otherwise these guys wouldn't continue to reanimate. The Templar isn't doing that, so something else is causing this reaction. Shinrod moves up. Fanatic and another fanatic. Maybe it's the fanatics, I don't know. Wilson is just overwatching. Something is wrong here. That's another fanatic. And another fanatic. And yet another fanatic. None of them should be able to just revive all of uh, these guys templar i couldn't make it through all right shinrod's being focused on i don't like that at all he's a good guy he shouldn't be in the center of attention Templar and Fanatic. Somehow I can't find where these zombies are coming from. There's a Master Necromancer. That might be an explosion. Yeah, I figured. We're still okay. We're standing in the open, but we do have all of the shields, so we're actually okay. One zombie down. Another one almost down. Not too shabby. Uh, 
But we got death from above. Let's just use that to our advantage. You want some more? Kill into kill. How many is that now? We're healing up Shinrod thing. Thankfully, we do have enough hit points with everyone. Fanatic, fanatic. Hold still. Shinrod heals himself. Gets rid of the next fanatic. Very nice. There is a Templar down there. all the way here I actually moved him here and it should have been fine and I think we're okay. Alright, he is using his weapon, which is fine. There is, by the way, finally the Master Necromancer that I was looking for. a good uh, throw there's another master necromancer oh wow oh wow I have not seen that I moved Jimmy here I'm not sure why he actually moved to here and then completely died. Wow. That was completely unexpected. I haven't even thought that that would happen. Wow. Well, rip Jimmy. We got another Master Necromancer back here. Closing on target position now. Hostiles coming in from the side. My power leaves me. Down to like one. Could have easily used the Mimic Beacon. I definitely did not expect. Uh, him to go out like that. Good to go. They got me. They died for our cause. Sit. 
Uh, he took. He ate a crit, and then on top of it, a grenade and another crit. Very unlucky, but such as the XCOM life. Wilson moves up. Let's move already. Yeah, we're pretty much out of cover entirely. It's no problem, boss. an open us against them type of uh, type of fight. Good, Shattered Realm moves in. God damn it. Jimmy Vice, what happened to you, man? Solid copy. Easy enough. I'm going. Seems doable. What a stupid way to go out. It was not even a misclick, he just mispositioned in the middle of uh, the turret, although I never told him to go there. And then two crits and a grenade. Oh, cool. <laughs> Well, that concluded uh, the episode of uh, of the enemies coming a bit closer and respawning. Affirmative, moving out. Timbit takes the chest. Got something new. Roger that. And all we need to do now is eliminate whatever enemies are left. Tired of waiting around. Locked and loaded. Not sure if so many enemies are actually left. Bessard moves up and uh, Shinrod moves up. Double time. Eyes peeled. No problem, boss. Good. Reminder to myself we need a new grenadier. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. So, mass enemies still do not function, but if you mess up a click or the game uh, messes up a click, then they can still beat you. Plus, I gotta give the Cult of Jiraiya the respawn mechanic of the Master Necromancers actually uh, makes it so that uh, you are. 
you are running into a problem. And by the way, Rip Haxor, uh, please note that in the comments down below. He was a good guy. He died as he lived, a hero. Uh, we're going to memor uh, memorialize his crutch because that's where they hit him. Bastard gets field medic. Lots of valerium crystals, that's not bad. Together we have succeeded in our Oh well we got a huge promotion here. And essentially what we want to do now is we want to kill the raiders. So how this is going to play out is Ranks gets his promotion to Colonel. These guys here are super tired. Okay, that and deployable drone, you know what, instead of deployable drone, no, let's use a deployable drone, that's good, she got one as well, and we got, we're good. We will work hand in hand with our new allies. Wilson finally got his rank as a colonel good job congratulations buddy well done bastard teams up with a ranger uh, you by the way still have you're an unruly ranger, you have the wrong color code. I don't like that. Darkrai. Axe is promoted. We're taking holo targeting. And Halo is promoted. Good, we got one, two, yeah, we're missing a grenadier here in the middle, which, is, which really sucks. Uh, so, back to the drawing board, recruiting it is. One, and potentially another psi operative because ours are almost fully trained. Good, off we go, train as a grenadier, thank you. Ah, too bad. Avenger plotting new course. But this, uh, this campaign is notorious for being a meat grinder, so people will die. I think I could have predicted this outcome. It is intriguing. Magnetic grenade can knock back enemies. Okay, well that sounds not too bad. We got psionic weapons, which I would like to continue. Elarium, we got enough elarium, and boy, we have 300 alloys. Okay, you know what? Uh, we wanted a Metsian battle suit. Yep. Got a core left over. Uh, me medicine is definitely my main concern. So the moment that we got the biofaceless corpses, we are going to do that. And biofacelesses are here, cool. Engineer plus intel. All we need to do is rescue a VIP. 
in Operation Dragon Hand. That is going to happen the next time. I hope you enjoyed yourself. We are definitely starting to clean up. I mean, look. Overall, we have two more factions, right? So it's the Cultists of Jiraiya. And we got the Marauders. I will eliminate both of them. We got one more uh, uh, alien ruler. Zero chosen. All are gone. And all I am asking for is a little bit more time to get the energy. If uh, that uh, turns out to be too problematic, we're just going to demolish the laboratory. And yeah, then that is that. Um, we still have... Yeah, we only have the Avatar project that needs to happen and then we're actually ready. So it's not that long. A few more things that need to be done. Uh, but then we are good to go. God damn, I love this campaign. It's a good one. All right, guys, if you love the campaign as well, and if you are truly sorry for Haxor, then rip Haxor in the comments and give him the true memorial that a war hero uh, needs, uh, which is salute with a click on the like button. See you the next time. Bye-bye.